2004 Chevy Trailblazer. Um, I know there's a lot of other people as well as myself having an issue with the uh, the idle in, in the vehicle as even whenever you turn on the AC it usually just shuts off the whole car because there's not enough the idle is not high enough something's messing with the the idle control module or some something other than that and it was it was idling real bad probably between five and jumping down between and then just shutting off when you turn on the AC pulling down the RPM and uh, I mean I looked under didn't find any air hoses any lines that were loose Really, I didn't see anything out of the blue, so I just went directly to the, you know, idle, it's an all-electronic uh, idle, uh, idle control. So, uh, I pretty much just took off this whole system right here. Just take off this little, there's a strap right down there that holds on this. Pull this aside after you take two bolts right here. There's a hose underneath, plug it. Pull that whole system aside. And then you'll see the, uh, the throttle body right there. And you're going to want to... Uh, you're gonna want to actually take off the whole the whole module, the outer air throttle body. So, pretty much, there's just right here. As you look from the side, there'll be four bolts going all the way around it, and it'll take off this whole system right here. And inside of the system, you're just gonna see in, right in the throttle body right there. You're just gonna see a whole bunch of gunk, oil, all kinds of different things over the years that it, you know got stuck to the sides. And just go get some get some carburetor cleaner. I'll show you what I did exactly. To mine, I just used some pretty much some regular what's it called throttle body carburetor cleaner, just whatever I had in the garage, pretty much. And I cleaned it out, took some napkins, some those shop napkins, and it had all this just all this gunk in there. As you can see, it's just real, real messy. And went in the edges, just clean every little inch of it, and then uh. That actually helped the problem. I put it all back together and started up the car and actually the idle went fine. I wouldn't believe something, you know, something that, I wouldn't say minor, but something that simple as cleaning it out would actually help the idle a bunch because it was pretty much shutting off the car. You couldn't have the AC on without the car shutting off. And uh, one other thing you do have to do that I have to mention is uh, there's the PCM. Uh, it, since it's electronic, it has to reset itself. So what you have to do actually before you, after you clean it out, put everything back together, get in the fuse box here, and you're going to see two fuses. Let it focus a little bit. You're going to see two fuses, number 10, which is PCMB, and number 28 right there, PCM1. You're going to want to disconnect both of those, which is going to be 10 is going to be right here, this uh, yellow one, and then this blue one right here is going to be the PCM1. Uh, one. That one's going to be B. You're going to want to pull both of those out for about five minutes and as well as disconnecting the battery right there the negative terminal or the positive sorry or the negative actually uh, disconnect it let it sit for about I'd say five minutes plug it all back in make sure you connect that harness as well to the the throttle body idle motor right there make sure everything's connected close it up and I went ahead and I was surprised I didn't think it actually fixed the problem but I went ahead and Started it up, jumps right up to around six, six, seven, right in between, and idles just fine over there. That's with the AC on. You see, it doesn't even affect it anymore. That's the AC off. And I'm about to turn on the AC, and it just stays around six, seven, right there. So that's that's not a bad accelerate. Usually, when you accelerate, your release it just goes way below and just shuts off the whole vehicle. But this one's staying just around that margin that it wants to stay at, and idles fine. It drives with no issues, no power loss, nothing like that. I got a few codes, which I'll put it down in the description below. A few of the codes that I actually uh, rang up whenever I, I, before I actually started this whole a little cleanup. And now, I mean, there's there's really no issue. It's like a quick what, 15, 20 minutes, probably 30 if you don't really know what you're doing or you don't mess with cars a lot. It's pretty much just one strap over here, two bolts. Pull this aside after you unhook that too. Pull it aside, unhook this harness going into the, the idle motor in the throttle body. Disconnect it, there's going to be four bolts holding on the, uh, the whole module, the throttle body. Pull it off, take it out, just go, you know, get some napkins, clean it in. You can move the throttle a little bit, clean it underneath, put it back in, bolt it back in, put the air system, make sure you connected all the harnesses. Remember to disconnect 10 and 28 to the two PCM fuses. 
and disconnect the battery for about, I'd say like five minutes. Plug them all back in, make sure everything's connected right, and start the vehicle and you shouldn't really have any problems. I'm assuming, I guess that's a common problem with a lot of the Chevys. These, I've looked up a whole bunch of forums and people have had the exact, that exact same problem. You do that and I mean, you won't have any more problems with the AC, the idling, nothing really. Alright, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. I have a few videos. I have videos every now and then going on common problems with vehicles that a lot of people are known to, to have with their vehicles. And just go ahead and check them out. Like them if you want. Alright, thanks for watching.